<laughs> yeah, well, I suppose you you always like in t you're looking to improve all the time and improve on any weaknesses that you have. But you have to identify the opposition as well and see where they're strong as well and try and nullify that. But yeah, we, we we've looked at that and hopefully we can improve and we've worked out a few things as well. So hopefully we can improve on that on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have, in fairness, you know, they're they're they're, they're I think they're one of the top teams for the sc scoring the goals. So if we can if we can keep that, you know, uh, to a minimum, hopefully we come out in the right results. You know. Yeah, it would have, but I suppose for the last two weeks, all we've been concentrating on Tipperary and the Munster final, and we don't want to look look beyond that because at the end of the day, a Munster final, and as you said, you know, five of the last six Limerick have been in it, and you know, hopefully we can we can come out on the right result on Sunday, you know, but we're not looking beyond Tipperary on Sunday, you know, it's a Munster final, and, and you know, we were there to try and win it, you know. And on just a uh, final question, just given the matches are thick and fast, the fact you've had two weeks after the clear game and you saw how senior managers were concerned with a lot of matches and a lot of space of time for 16 or 17 year olds, do you think that could be a problem? But you've had a few weeks off now to Yeah, recharge. we've had two weeks off and, uh, you know, but the thing about it is, given the current weather situation, you can't do a whole lot and you just have to keep them fresh, keep them motivated and, you know, hopefully um, not, not too much training, just keeping them sharp and hopefully they perform on Sunday, yeah.